all go to sleep. I'm confused. It's called all your girls bitches. No. Just her? Oh, okay. I keep one of these everywhere I go. What does it really mean to be on your beast mode, bro? Man, Walmart standing in line for a long, long time. And when I finally get to the front, man, my car declined. So you know what I had to do? What you had to do, man? What you had to do? Put it back. That dip? Oh, no. Nah. I put it back. Them chips? I put it back. I would have got it all, but I had to put it back. Them Oreo. What's up, nerds? It's your boy Cortez back at it again with another crazy video, and I'm here with the one and only Khalil Vegas, my hi. boy. Hi, hi, guys. Man, you doing your thing, huh? Not really. I'm really? Just, I'm just eating noodles. You just eat noodles? Yeah. You came to this interview with some noodles, huh? I came with two cups. I like your professionalism, dude. This is really. <laughs> Um, man, Khalil Babies, first and foremost, congratulations, man. You just hit a million on YouTube on Beast Mode, my Thank boy. You. Going Beast Mode, Beast Mode, better not go to sleep, ho. Congratulations, man. Those I like are that. The lyrics. Those yeah. are lyrics. Yeah. Speaking of lyrics, man, we better get into this lyrical breakdown with Khalil Woo. Vegas. Yes. You ready? Mm -hmm. Alright, first lyric goes. Bitch, I'm on my Beast Mode. What does that what does that mean? What does it mean? What does it really mean to be on your Beast Mode, bro? It means it means to have really good grades in school, really to, uh, to strive for success, and to also, um, I have no idea, because I freestyled at night. Really? So that whole song was a one-take freestyle? Uh, not the whole song. Just like, that, that one on it? Yeah, because I played the beat, and I didn't know what I wanted to say, so I just screamed, Bitch, I'm on my beast mode! And then, it just, you know. I like that. So can being on your beast mode mean other things? Like, if I'm cheating on my girlfriend, but I'm not getting caught, can I be on my beast mode with that? <laughs> No. No? No, no, no. What beast, about? Beast mode is good things. That's not a good you thing. You ain't get caught. That's a good thing. No, this is not a good. It's the, the, all right, the let me give you another example. If I uh, graduate the top of my class, all good grades. Yes. And I'm valid Victorian in my school. Did I say it right? Valid Victorian. If I'm that big word in yeah. my school, mm -hmm. am I on my beast mode? Yes. There you have it, folks. Beast mode means to be on your good things. Yes. All good things. Beast mode means all good things. All right. Mm -hmm. The next, the next lyric goes, "You better not go to sleep, hole." Why can't that hole go to sleep? I'm confused. And now that she can't go to sleep, because there's no hole. See, if you think about it, it's really like an analogy. So, like, they better not sleep on you. Right. I'm on my beast mode. You better not go to sleep, ho. So you calling us hoes, but we see you, or you're pretty much saying don't sleep. Oh no, so I said hoes. I said O's. No. Oh. No, you said ho. Better not go to sleep, ho. Times two. Better not go to sleep, ho. Sleep, ho. It's okay. No, it does say that. But yeah, you know what? Okay. Like, yeah, yeah. It's okay, but pretty much mean don't sleep on your time and don't sleep on your craft. Don't sleep on your art, right? Right. You are I feel that. Better not go to sleep, though. Alright, the next line reads, If you ain't run that relay, mm -hmm. pop up at your door like we from East Bay. Yes. What does that mean? So, basically, it's like, if you're not running from the, and I'm not using the analogy, but it's smoke, right. then we're going to kick down your doors and present ourselves at your, you know, your, your domain, almost like the shoe So it's like putting bag. on on your, you putting on for your city in a sense. Like, Not at all. I hate that really? city. <laughs> Where you from? Baton Rouge. I hate that city too. I know, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't know that was a city. That's the only reason I said that. Oh, all right, right, this one, this one was my favorite. I treat them like a cavity. These sweet niggas go DK. Yes. I treat them like a cavity. So you you brushing your haters off like no, like it's almost it's like almost like, like teeth. no, it's a nod to wait what? Explain the lyric. Okay, so it's like you see this right? Right. This is a toothbrush. Oh, okay. I keep one of these everywhere I go, and I never reuse the same one. So I'm basically saying, y'all sweet niggas who get, you know what I mean? Like right. y'all not gonna last. Y'all are going to decay. Oh, like so like cavity. your career is eroding pretty much because no. your career you taking off. You saying they're gonna fade eventually. They're gonna disintegrate. Your art is gonna over, over, overbear this, over overtake this. You can say that. Your career is gonna overtake. It. Okay, y'all some DK. Y'all some DKs. Y'all some cavities. I like that. You, you don't keep no toothpaste in the other pocket. <laughs> so, all right. The next lyric reads. <laughs> But I end them in the streets. This is PK. That's yeah. the next lyric. Yes. Okay. What does that mean? Like, you ever play like, Smash Bros? Yeah. You know, uh, 
Ness, PK Thunder, PK Smash. You know? oh, okay, so that was a game reference. Yeah. Cause I was like, dang, you go find them in the streets, like, like kindergarten, like. No, pre no, not pre. -K? No, bro, no, no. See, it's like, I'm a, I love video games. Okay, so you a gamer? Then not at all. Know. Oh no? No, I just love video games. You just like the video? I like to watch people play video oh, games. Okay, so you you more so attracted to the creativity of the visuals and that it's kind of like the inspiration for you writing maybe. And dressing. And dressing. I like that. You got some good style. I, I do like not. That. It's okay. You gotta compliment these artists because you never know what they're gonna be. He came to the interview. He knew you guys. All right. All right. <laughs> The next one, the next line follows. Put them in the freezer, iced up, like you listen into Sweet Tech. Mm hmm. You remember Sweetie? Like Offset Girl. Yeah, yeah, okay. but she got a song. Icy, Ice Me Out. Icy. Mm -hmm. Oh, Icy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. That, that song, I really like that song. You, you like that song? That's why I put the lyric in. You like that song? I've never heard that. That's so funny. <laughs> Who sings That's My Type? That's My Type. This is. Who sings Ice Me Out? Ice Me Out. I, I know of these songs. Cause I thought that was what that I thought that was a reference. But no, shout out to you, sweet sweetie. You um you got fans. You got you got a fan. Alright. X line is it's a P A R T Y nigga we slay. Yeah. So you know how to spell. Yeah. I like that. That it could you know like boosted. Remember he did I A D E P E N D E N T. Do you know what that means? You know? Still don't know what that means. Exactly. That's okay, I mean, but look, like the, the point the point being yeah. is that like I did that line because you know I just wanted to you know people don't know how to spell party. People don't you know in, invoke the the right to party anymore. You know what I mean? Like Beast the Boys Ben said we got the right to fight for the right to party. Exactly. So I'm fighting for the right to party again. I like added that. the slate part because you know Beyonce that nigga. Yeah. <laughs> she, <laughs> she is definitely that nigga. Mm -hmm. Uh Jay Z's gonna love this. Um <laughs> He the nigga too. He is that guy. Jay Z is the go. All right, next line. <laughs> it's my the next lyric is it's my party, but I'm crying on my B day. Why are you crying? I don't know why you're crying, man. It's a great way to get you're your emotions baby? up. You're a very emotional person. Yeah. I feel like that. Really? Give me a toothbrush, your spicy noodles, dreadlocks. You just seem like a very emotional person. I know, right? Can you be emotional and still be on your beast mode? Yeah, a hundred percent. Don't let your emotions interfere with what you do. But at the I same like time, be in touch with. I like that. That's that's deep. You like very lyrical. I like that. All right. The next lyric: Clap a nigga with my bare hands. Smash DK. Oh, we was gonna get to that. No, I didn't no, want to no, smash no, no, nobody. No, those lines are connected. Oh. Okay. Well, let's do the first one. All right. So you know, I said. Why I like do you want to clap people? Man. You know Smash, you, you ain't never played Smash Bros? Uh, no, I got that. You know Donkey Kong? Okay. DK? Mm-hmm. And his move is... Smash. No, he's, he's, he's clap clapping niggas. Oh, he clap? See, I thought he was like smacking, like clap, like smack. No, like I clap a nigga with my bare hands, smash DK. Because, you know, I'm, you can backhand anybody and it can still be the same reference. But that's not a clap, that's a... You know, like, I don't know if you smack somebody technically did you clap them? Not at all. Well, you yeah. clap with your hands, but you can smack somebody with your bare with your back hand. So I'm under let's get to the second line. The second line was what? The second line? Mm hmm After that? Yeah, after that, what was the next line? That's DK. I'm Rick James. <laughs> Super duper freak out. Ooh! So you're Rick James. Was that a hair reference? You <laughs> did have hair like yours. Uh no, I'm not Sway Lee. Uh <laughs> My hair ain't built like that. It's, no? No. Okay, so what what was the uh, inspiration behind that, that line? Well, I had a really super freaky bitch, so she, she's my girl, you know, and I like that. Do you call all your girls bitches? No. Just her? No, because she a boss bitch. Oh, that, that's a great saying. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, well, shouts out to your girlfriend, man. I'm sure she's excited about your one million views. Uh, congratulations, she, man. She's ready. Mm -hmm. All right, the next line. I'm on my beast mode. Eat mode. Bet not go to sleep. I, man, we at the end. I just like to say that. <laughs> Can you say it one time for one time? In the same voice. In the same, no, in the, do it in the same voice. Say it like me. Wait. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm on my beast mode. Bitch, I'm on my beast mode. Eat mode. Eat mode. You bet not go to sleep, ho. You bet not go to sleep, ho. I like that. I like that, man. And what was the inspiration behind this song anyway, bro? Um, I recorded this song and my other song, Major Pain, in like 20 minutes. I was tired. I woke up. I heard a bunch of beats from this Russian dude called Cash Call. 
and it was hard, so I just spit on it. You spit on it, wow. Yeah. Congratulations on your success, man. I'm proud of you, I'm happy for you. You got a, um, a meeting with Interscope Records coming out, right? Mm -hmm. All right, we ain't gonna say too much about that, but congratulations, man. Keep on your thug dance. When can I get on a song with you? You wanna get on a song tonight? Let's get it. What you wanna record? Ooh, about? we gonna record anything. We going triple cardboard. We finna go triple cardboard, man. Lyrical breakdown, Khalil Vegas, Beast Mode. Y'all go check that out, man. On, it ain't no on game, cause I don't do that. This ain't no vlog, this real life. Hi. Huh? Noodles, man, I had to put it back. Shrimp. Shrimp. That dip? Spinach. I put it back. Out now.